Cell Structure Presentation, Section 2. We learned that all living things are made of cells. But cells are not empty. Inside each cell are cell parts, called organelles. Here we have an image of three different cells. A plant cell, an animal cell, and a bacteria cell. As you can see, they look different from each other. The plant and animal cell are eukaryotes. They're called eukaryotes because they have a true nucleus. And you can see the nucleus in each cell. Here is the nucleus in the plant cell. Here is the nucleus in the animal cell. Bacteria cells, one of which is pictured here, are prokaryotes. They're called prokaryotes because they have no true nucleus. Instead, inside of a bacteria cell, you have just a few simple structures, and its DNA, which is circular, is floating around in the cytoplasm. To help you understand the difference between a cell and its organelles, let's sort some words. The ribosome is an organelle. You find ribosomes in each of these three cells. They're the small dots. Bacteria is a cell. It's a larger structure that contains organelles inside. Mitochondria are organelles. Mitochondria are only found in the larger, more advanced eukaryotic cells. Mitochondria are bean-shaped and often appear like they're little mouths because they've got these curly uh, lines that show the folded inner membrane. Nucleus is an organelle, also only found in eukaryotic cells. Eukaryote is a cell. Plants and animals are made of eukaryotic cells like the ones pictured here. Here we have another picture of cells. On the left we have a cell and you can clearly see some of the organelles inside. This is a cross section so the top half has been cut away. And over here we have a cell and you can see the structures inside. The cell is transparent so you're just looking at it from the side. What we want to do is look at four basic parts that all cells share. And to do that, we're going to find them in each of these two very different cells. So we're going to go up and find the arrow. And we're going to start with cell membrane. And we're going to point to the cell membrane, which is here. It is the outer boundary of this cell. And then click on the arrow again and find it on the other side. Now on this side we've got two layers. That outside layer is a cell wall. The cell membrane is the inner layer. The cell membrane always floats around the cytoplasm and it separates the cell from the environment, selecting what can come in or out of the cell. Next we have the cytoplasm which fills the cell with a jelly-like fluid and allows the cell to do chemical reactions. Both of these cells have filling. Over here it's a dark green and over here it's a much lighter whitish color. Let's grab an arrow and we're going to point to this green space and grab an arrow and we're going to point to this clear space and that is the cytoplasm. Next we're looking for the DNA. DNA is a chemical that makes up chromosomes and gives the cell a way to store directions for the cell to make proteins. The DNA is inside of the nucleus if the cell has a nucleus. So over here we find the nucleus here and the DNA would be inside of that nucleus so we're going to point an arrow there. But over here we do not have a similar structure. 
Instead, the DNA is seen here as kind of a thread-like material, um, very large in the cell. So we're going to click on the arrow and point to that. That's the DNA. And then we have ribosomes. Ribosomes are where the proteins are put together, and the proteins pretty much do all the work of the cell. They are small dots, so they're a little harder to point to, but we'll grab an arrow. And we're going to point to one of these small dots and grab another arrow. And the dots are bigger on this side because the cell is much smaller, so we're looking at it um, a little bit closer. There we go. So the four things that all cells have, whether it is a eukaryotic cell like this one or a prokaryotic cell like this one, is the cell membrane, cytoplasm, DNA, and ribosomes. And because all cells have all four of those parts, we can say that all cells are able to select what enters and leaves because they all have a cell membrane. They are able to do chemical reactions because they all have a cytoplasm. They are able to store directions to make proteins because they all have DNA. And they are able to put proteins together to do chemical work because they all have ribosomes. We have the same two cells, but this time a little differently. We're going to look at their differences. Instead of the things that unify them, the things that make them different. We're going to start with the mitochondria, which we saw on a previous slide. The mitochondria allows the cell to produce a lot of energy by speeding up a process called cell respiration. We want to move this label to the cell in which it is found. And if you look back on slide five, you'll see pictures that are labeled, but the mitochondria well, this cell is this small bean-shaped organelle. Next, we have the plasmid, which is a small circle of DNA found only in bacteria cells. And we clearly see this is the bacteria cell. So what is the small circle of DNA found there? Well, this one has three. They are the small red circles. I'll put that right beside the plasmid. Next, we have a vacuole, which is a small holding space and it's formed by a layer of membrane to hold extra food, water, and chemicals. Because bacteria cells are so small themselves, they don't have vacuoles. Those are only found in eukaryotic cells. And in fact, we see two over here, and I'm gonna put this one right here. This small blue circle is the vacuole. Next, we have the Golgi. The Golgi is a structure of stacked membranes, and they allow the cell to make other membranes. Again, the size of the prokaryotic cell makes it impossible to fit in the Golgi. It's only found in eukaryotic cells, and it is this purple structure. And then we have the cell wall, which is found outside of a cell membrane. In a plant cell, you would find a cell wall, but this one is an animal cell, and we don't have cell walls. However, this bacteria cell does, it is this outer layer of a lighter tan color. So we're just gonna park it over there. So we have two items here found just in the bacteria, prokaryotic cell, and three found just in the animal, the eukaryotic cell. What advantage do these three items that are found only in the eukaryotic animal cell give it? Well, having vacuoles allow it to store extra food, water, and chemicals. The Golgi allows it to make membranes and package chemicals. That's important if a cell needs to send chemicals somewhere. And the mitochondria allow it to speed up respiration to produce a lot of energy. this last slide for today, you're going to take a look at organelles a little differently based on some common household items that best represent their function. As you watch the video, you are going to identify 
what the video states, the function of that cell part is like in a household item, and then you are, in your own words, going to explain what that organelle actually does in the cell. Enjoy!